home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got to tell you the three rules of watching a little clown show or watching a wonderful show. Rule number one is you got to make a lot of noise. <laughs> and rule number two, you got to make still more noise. <laughs> and rule number three, you can laugh whenever you want. <laughs> Don't forget the three rules of clown, watching a clown show. Hi, I'm Flubber and you're watching me on Talkative Tidbits. Oh, that's such a wonderful question. You know, clowns are clowns. We don't act as a clown. So you're not fine clowns going to be on and off, switch and off. But are the performing artists, when they get onto the stage, they are performing. But when they get off the stage, the job is done. That's not the same with clowns. Clowns are true to themselves. They are clowns. We now act ourselves. So that's the biggest difference between clowns and other performing artists. Clowning comes from the heart. <laughs> it reminds me of a wonderful saying <laughs> in India, Jo dikta hai, wohi bikta hai. <laughs> you got to look the part, you got to look good. Uh, you got to have clean makeup, very professionally done, clean and presentable costume. That's why people will really look at their wow! Then the second part of it comes into play is your character and your personality. So makeup and costume is very essential and what follows is the clown heart. Clownology, wow. It begins again with the heart. You gotta have a heart of a clown. You build a character, the way you connect with your audience. It's very important to have a clown personality. Once you evolve a clown character and your clown personality, then you can add on all the layers of skills with like a garnishing on, on a lovely desert. A little bit of juggling, a little bit of magic, a little bit of mime, a little bit of unicycling. All that builds up. But those are extras, the ancillaries. The most important part is your personality and the character. And that's what we learn in clownology. Oh, very true. In India, clowns are, were just available and seen around in circuses. But internationally, clowns have evolved into a number of art forms and they moved into various platforms. From the circus, they've come to theatres, from theatres into fairs, and from fairs they've been to homes where you're doing birthday parties, and from homes you go to schools, and then into hospitals. So there's a huge range of opportunities in clowning. And that's because education, performances and visibility is very high internationally. But here in India, education in this art form is little or not available. And I have been trying my best to get people to learn about clowning. And slowly by slowly, when people learn about this, they will, you will see clowns almost everywhere. In India, people consider clowns as jokers. And that was because you only see jokers in the circuses. And then what exactly happens is a jokers try to make you laugh. A clown makes you happy. And that's the big difference between clowns and jokers. In, in, in the West, clowns are respected because they learn the art form very structuredly. It's not that you just wear on a costume and start dancing, no, no, no. You gotta learn it, you gotta imbibe the whole essence of what a clown is. And once you learn that, then you are respected. You become a much more appreciated and then you are loved. One of the most important changes that I've seen is youngsters are beginning to get interested in this. They no longer see clowning as something foolish or something that is, you know, looked down upon. When they see me performing and they see my friends internationally performing and through various international performances, they begin to realize that it's something wonderful. People are beginning to accept clowns as a very serious art form because we present it in a most lovable, intelligent and uh, enjoyable manner. So having seen this, a lot of youngsters are now looking at it 
responsibly, seriously, and there are a lot of opportunities for clowning in this country. Shopping malls, hotels, birthday parties, corporate events, family days, you name it. And even in hospitals and schools, there's a lot of need for clowns in our country. Uh, I loved watching these great characters who had the real heart of a clown. They may not have worn the makeup, but they were true clowns. The Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy, and Mr. Bean. They are classic clowns. They are the childlike. You know, they bring out the innocence of entertainment out. And that is, you want to see what real clowning is? Watch Laurel and Hardy, Charlie Chaplin once again, and they, you will realize clowning comes straight from the heart. The innocence and the beauty of entertainment.